Good morning, prep. Today I'm going to show you how to make some fluffy vanilla marshmallows. Are you ready to join me? These are the ingredients we need to make marshmallows. I have five gelatin sheets. They're still dry and crunchy. One egg white from my Mudgy Mrs. Rivers. 250 grams of caster sugar. 100 mils of cold water and 25 grams of glucose syrup. Prep, you can see that our gelatin sheets are still rather crunchy and dry. I don't think they'd be very good to use when they're dry, do you? So we're going to put some water in there with them. It's cold water and it's going to soften the gelatin sheets. So here we go. Let's see, is that covered? Yes, so we have some cold water in there with our hard, dry gelatin sheets. And then we're just going to leave that and they will become nice and soft. Now we need to put our caster sugar, glucose syrup and water in the saucepan to boil. So in I go tipping 250 grams of caster sugar. Next, we'll add the glucose syrup. This might get a bit sticky. You can see our glucose syrup is very thick. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. That's our sticky glucose syrup and sugar in the bowl. Now we need to tip in our 100 mils of cold water. All done. Okay, do not mix it. Okay, now we need to put our glucose syrup, sugar and water on top of a high flame. Prep, we need to now wait for our glucose syrup to reach what is called a soft ball. At a soft ball, some of the water will have evaporated and our sugar will be really sticky. So when it's cool, you can squeeze it between your fingers and it feels like it's a little squishy ball. I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is called soft ball. So this is a ball of some sugar and you can see that it's still a bit soft. It's a bit soft and squishy. So you can squish the ball with your fingers. We're going to patiently wait for our sugar to reach 127 degrees. You'll know it's ready in two different ways. Your mum or dad can either put a thermometer in the pot and it will tell you that it's reached 127 degrees or soft ball or when the bubbles in the pot start to get really big and really slow and it's rather thick. Right now the pot is boiling way too quick. We know it's not ready because the bubbles are too small and they're too quick. While you're waiting for the sugar to boil, you can tip your egg white into a mixing bowl. There we go. And now I'm going to put my mixing bowl onto my mix master. It's a bit tricky with one hand. And also put on a whisk attachment. You can see it looks a bit like a balloon. So this is a balloon whisk. There we go. Now we have the egg whites in our mixing bowl and the mixing bowl on our mix master and the whisk on our mix master. We can lower the mix master. This is a bit tricky with one hand. Ooh. Lower the mix master and we can start our mix master on a slow speed. Our sugar's nearly there. You can see how the bubbles have slowed down a little bit. And when I put my spoon in, it's going to drizzle off and it'll be a bit thicker. Can you see how it looks thicker? It looks like there's a bit of a tail. A tail coming down from the spoon. This means it's nearly ready, so keep a close eye on it. So when our gelatin is nice and soft, we're going to take the five sheets out Squeeze all the water out of them and then put them into a new bowl. One, two, three, four, and number five. Now gelatin's all ready. Looks pretty fun, doesn't it? Wobble, wobble, wobble. 
So can you see how our bubbles have slowed down a fair bit? They're nice and big and they're bubbling really slowly. I'm going to pick up some syrup and watch it drizzle from my spoon. Look how thick that is. That's perfect. So when it looks a bit like this, then we can take our pot over and pour it onto our egg whites. that I slowly poured my sugar in down the side of the bowl while the mix master mixes on medium speed. Now I'm going to turn the speed up to high. It's very hot, so don't touch it. Only get a grown-up to do that. But when the bowl is nice and about as warm as your bath, when your bowl is as warm as your bath, then you can start adding in your gelatin sheet. I've just added some vanilla bean paste to my bowl and I'm going to give it one more mix. When your marshmallow looks like this and is nice and firm and sticky, you're ready to use the spatula to put your marshmallow into this lined tray. I have some baking paper in my tray and then a bit of corn flour so the marshmallow doesn't stick to the paper. Now that my marshmallow is in the tray, I'm going to get some corn flour and tip some corn flour on my hands. And I'm going to rub that over my dry hands and start to pat the marshmallow flat. This stops the marshmallow from sticking to my hands. Let's spread it all the way into those edges. Pat, pat, pat. Your hands do get a bit dirty, but that's okay. You can just wash it off with some water. But you've seen that I've flattened my marshmallow into all of the edges of the tray and it's not sticking to my hand anymore. It feels very soft and squishy, a bit like a pillow. I think you'll love feeling this. Your marshmallow is now in the tray and you're ready to leave it for three hours to set. So now all we need to do is clean up. You might be able to help by licking the spatula, licking the bowl, licking the whisk, um, doing some washing up, or maybe you could even dry up the bowls. That would be amazing. 